guys, probably here today, and welcome back to Cities and Skylines. Last time we worked on Cypress District, which uh, still doesn't have a name, but a new little industry district, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, just a small little one there, probably not going to get any bigger than that. That's pretty much going to be it. I want to build a new industry district, probably around this port, uh, and rework this area a little bit. Uh, not right now, though, because there's not much demand for it. Um... But yeah, that's something I want to do, because I mean, we have wine glass Hills, but it's a little far away. I want to start dotting around some smaller uh, industry, like, in, so, so it's not all just in one place. I mean, to be fair, as cool as this looks, having all the traffic there, it's, like, if we added more industry here, it would get, it would back up pretty badly. Like, even right now, this is having a bit of a hard time. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, but that, that should be fine. It, it should be, but uh, it's definitely backing up. I say that. It's kind of because... I think... No, maybe I didn't. I think I tested. I tested joining those roads together and doing one-way roads. That didn't really help at all. So I'm going to leave it how it is. Because that definitely works. I'm going to make sure despawning is off. Just so uh, we can get a good understanding. If that is, Because I'm not sure if that's actually backing up or if it's just sort of getting to that point and then moving on through. I think... Well, especially that guy there parking in there was creating a little bit of trouble. Um, I might actually put... I just feel... I wish they wouldn't use one bloody lane. Like, all these guys are just using the middle lane. I mean, granted, it's because I've added extra exits for them. But um, I don't think we really need this one. Because anyone that's turning right would go in that, that right lane anyway. Uh, and I think having that exit there was un unnecessary. Um, but, I mean, the rest of this place is fine. It's just trying to get the traffic to flow in properly. Because, I don't know, they all seem to absolutely adore the middle lane. Although, they're using that, some of them are using the right-hand lane now for those turning right. So, it makes a little bit more sense and gets it flowing a little bit better. Cool. All right. So, we do have a little bit of residential demand and all that kind of stuff. So, I think we'll go over here because this is supposed to be sort of semi-residential. Oh, yeah. we got a little bit of zoning. We'll do a bit more. Semi-residential, semi-commercial. I think this, the rest of this will be commercial. That bit in the middle will be residential. Uh, and that I will be pretty happy with. Uh, I'm not going to bother zoning that just yet. Okay, so what I want to do, uh, I want to, I, I want to make an island that we can put on the Statue of Liberty, which I believe is actually in here. Here it is. Um, it I wanted to actually do it down here, uh, so it'd kind of be like Manhattan, where you'd have it as you come into the city, but I don't know if that's going to create a problem with all these shipping lanes, because, I mean, our shipping lane comes in here, turns around there, and then it has, like, sort of direct line of sight to all the harbors. Uh, so I don't really want to block that, because I feel like putting something there is probably going to create issues. So I think we'll just do it in the lake, which is where people did suggest we do it. Uh, and we'll figure out how that goes. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't. So we'll find out. Uh, find out after the break. Uh, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> there was no break, but welcome back. Now, I guess we want a fairly, fairly decent sized thing. Now, I don't know where the water source is. For this lake, like, I don't know where the water is spawning. It looks like it's spawning right where I put that island. Uh, <laughs> either that or it's just tsunamiing over it, because we've just raised that up. I don't, I think the water might actually be spawning there, so, like, right in the middle. Uh, so I'm going to put that back down, because I feel like that was uh, not a good idea. Because if the water starts spawning up higher, you know, that's going to create uh, issues for all of that and flood the rest of the city. Uh, okay, why don't we just do it a little bit further forward down here then? Because then it, I don't think there's anything spawning here. It's probably up there, I would imagine. Uh, so what are, Yeah, what if we do it here? So if we go there. Let's see if that does the same sort of thing. I mean, it might just be the water physics creating a wave because we've just raised up the land. I don't know. Either that or that's where it's... Look, it's like a wave coming out. Uh, well, I guess we'll leave that there and see what happens. If it destroys the city, we can always reload the save. Because we haven't done anything yet, except for try and make an island, which is so far failed miserably because it's just covered in water. Uh, although, it's all spreading away from it now, so hopefully it's okay. Oh, yeah, those guys are getting flooded there, getting hit by the tsunami. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. If it creates widespread uh, issues, I will just reload the save. Uh, no, because that definitely did work now, but um, yeah, no, that's a problem. Creating an island is a problem. I mean, the water will eventually settle back down. But it may cause widespread panic before then. Such as everybody's homes in the canals being flooded. Yep, uh, sorry about that, guys. Hopefully the water will go back to normal. Yeah, it's back to normal over here. That's good. So that the water is receding. Oh, but there's like a secondary wave coming. Oh god, no! Sound the alarm! 
That's our alarm. Just me going. But um, as long as too many homes, as long as not many of the homes get destroyed, I will be okay with that. Um, <laughs> look at all the water. This is completely flooded. Uh, well, you know, it seems okay, but there is a secondary wave on its way in right now. So we'll see how that goes. God damn water physics. Water physics are the bane of my existence, but they're also kind of cool. I mean, I guess ideally I'd probably want the uh, the island there, but I feel like it's going to be dangerous trying to put one back again. <laughs> we're already having <laughs> widespread flooding issues. <laughs> although the, I think these guys are good now. Yeah, although it's all disappearing except for those guys, obviously. But uh, these guys are fine. Uh, is that a new wave coming in or is that flowing out? I don't know. I don't know what the water is doing. I mean, this is obviously most- look at that! We've created absolute chaos. And I didn't even mean to! All I wanted to do was add an island, and... Yep, yeah. alright, what I'm gonna do, uh, is quit to main menu. Let's just reload, because I didn't like that. I think what, I, what I'll do instead, I'll create the island, uh, off camera, or at least just part of it, just so... Not, not the whole thing, just the, the actual land that we're gonna build on, because otherwise... Uh, I feel like we're going to be, we could have been waiting an entire episode just for the water to dissipate and settle back down and see if it worked. So I'll do that in my own time. I'll create a blank piece of land, then we'll build it up in a future episode. Because that's just, I think that's just going to take a little bit too long to sitting around and waiting for that to work. Because I, I don't want to do any other building work while it's flooding, because if it creates massive issues, then we'll have to revert the save and then lose what we did anyway. So what we'll do instead... It's probably work on that industrial area, but let's go ahead and just go back and zone this little area like I did before. I think I actually want double uh, residential there and just commercial in these areas. Not there though. Uh, along there and that bit. Yeah, no, that'll be good. Okay, so that we'll, we'll zone that bit. What is that line? Is that I think that's oil there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit of oil under that area. I don't, I don't want to do any oil mining there. I don't want to do an oil industry there at all. Um, I was thinking we could do... So where do we have, so we have good, lack of goods there. And that's pretty much it now. We seem to have solved the majority of the goods issue. Uh, and it, this morning's off, good. Yeah, we, we seem to have solved most of the good, goods issues, except for just there. So that's why I wanted to build an area here. Um, now, as for this, I think I want to change this up quite a bit. So let's just pause the game while we do this. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove all of the spaghetti uh, tendrils that are connecting. We'll keep the road there, because we'll adjust that in a minute. Uh, I think we have to keep that anyways, it's part of it. Yeah, no, we'll keep that. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to remove most of this highway, actually. Um, well, not too much of it. About to there, I think. So we'll get rid of these bridges as well, because we're going to rebuild these. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lower the land here and actually build the industrial below the highway. And the highway is going to sort of be above it. Uh, that's the idea. So where's our road? About there. That's kind of where we want to land. That looks good to me. That's where we'll lower it down to. Uh, so it's just gonna it's just gonna be a sort of small industrial area just here. Nothing too big. So it's not gonna be too bad. It's mostly just gonna be a, a space for the the cargo harbor uh, to operate from. Uh, I will rebuild that as well because that's gonna be a little bit dodgy where it is. Rebuild that in a minute. Okay, that's all good to me. Yeah, and we'll just fill that in. So it won't be like a massive area. It's not supposed to be. But it will also be beautiful. So this is going to go actually all the way across now. Uh, to... Oh, hang on. It's going to go to... Hang on, let me... Oh, yeah, I got the protractor mod as well. I had that on... I actually had that last time. Um, doesn't seem to be snapping. I think I have to hold shift to snap these days. So the bridge is actually going that way. But I want it to go in this way. Oh, whatever. Um... Alright, so I want to try and get it roughly the same height, which would be about there. That looks pretty good. No, that actually looks like perfect. Fantastic! And then this... No, let's build it from the other way, because this seemed to be a little bit easier. Hopefully this isn't too close or anything. Okay, so this is going to go... About to... I want it to be almost the same as the other bridge, so they sort of match. If you could stop snapping to the other bridge, that'd also be good. Yeah, so about there. 
Now that one's not as ideal, but the the sort of uh, suspension part matches, so it looks a little bit better in that regard. Might redo that bit. Uh, it does end up a little bit lower though, which I guess is okay as long as as long as we form the land around that, I think it'll be fine. Let's just flip that all around. Um, so let's actually bring the, the land down a little bit here, just so it seems like it makes sense why it's a little bit lower. That's not down. Um, so just, you know, like it'd be like two different highways, two different levels of highway, I should say. Um, let's bring that back a little bit as well, so it actually... Now what we should do is create a ramp, because everybody knows I love making ramps. Alright, so that's going to go there, and like that. There you go. Beautiful. We'll do it all over here as well. How about that? Nice. No, that's good. That, that's really, really good. That's absolutely fantastic. I think I'm overreacting a little bit, but I think it's pretty fantastic. Good. Alright, so now it actually joins levelly. Levelly. Level with the ground and sort of looks like it should kind of be like that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get rid of the sound barriers on there because it just didn't match the other one. Okay, so that's good. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Then we have the industrial area down the bottom, but of course we still want a direct connection to the highway uh, for the cargo harbour because that's going to be absolutely essential. Uh, so this is going to come off, so obviously it has to come off after the bridge. Uh, it's going to go... Now I want to keep in mind that we're going to have industry down the bottom. Actually, let's get some roads down here first. This is just going to be, I think, standard roads. Now... We need direct connections to the highway, but I think I also want direct connections to the industrial area. So we're going to go 90 degrees out that way. So this is going to be the industrial zone. And this might even be how they get into the area. This could be a really bad idea or it could be really good. I do not know yet. So it's going to go along there. And it's going to go down to there. And through there. That'll be fine, I think. Get rid of that bit. Don't need it. Uh, yeah, okay, so that will be the industrial zone. So, yeah, like I said, it's not too big. Maybe that bit as well. Uh, actually, no, because I need to do a highway ramp there. Okay, so now we're going to try and fit in our ramps around that. And hopefully try and keep a fair bit of zoning as well without destroying too much of it. I mean, I guess we could even bring the ramp all the way around, but that might look a little bit... Oh, actually, no, that might work. That might... No, not like that. That might work because... Okay, if you could come out the, the correct angle. There we go. Because what we can do then is not only have the ramp sort of come around and... Okay, that's really bad. Not quite like that. Um, have the ramp come around. I don't want to... I want to try and avoid interfering with the zoning. That's what I'm trying to do. Around like this. And then it's going to go up one. So it's going to be sort of level with the thing there. Or not, because it like went down, but... That's exactly not what I wanted it to do. But <laughs> I, I, I brought it up so it didn't do that. But anyways. So if we bring it to about there. Okay, so then that comes straight in. Now the reason I thought this would be good as well. Because then we can just do an entrance straight into the industrial area from the side here. Like have a side connection somewhere. Maybe here because we don't have any zoning. Yeah, that works for me. So they can enter to the industrial area if they want. Or go straight on to the... Uh, cargo harbor. Now, as for these guys coming the other direction, I think I try. I want to try and funnel them all onto the same road, just so we have one flow of traffic. Um, now, I'm thinking I want to try and get a road that goes either over, or preferably under. But the only reason I don't want to really do that is it's going to become, it's going to remove quite a bit of this zoning. So I want to try and keep. I want to try and keep this area as a. Fairly decent sized zone. I guess if we do that, that actually gives us a little bit more space. Okay, let's go with that. Because then we can try and get a, a road under here. Actually, let's do it now. No, no, no. Not there. Not there. Not not like that game. Uh, see, now that bridge is actually too low. Maybe if we go... I mean, that's not a... Really deal because it like dips down but I think that's kind of that's kind of what I'm after that's kind of what I'm after and then something like that I guess it's a bit of a sharp term but I think that's kind of, that's pretty much what I'm after because that allows them to not only get into the industrial area but also go straight to the cargo harbor uh, now as for the exit we're gonna have to go all the way around I guess just join up over there kind of like a similar thing we did before on the other side 
Uh, so this is actually going to go up and around. And then it will join in there. Or I think this one is just going to have to go over because otherwise it's just not going to work. There's no room to go underneath. Uh, and I was thinking we could also do a, a connection there. But I don't I don't want them going cut, cutting through. So we might actually do one here. It might be okay if we could. No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> no, that would be fine. Okay, so... I won't do any other connections. That'll be fine. This is gonna. This is definitely gonna have to go over because otherwise it's just not gonna connect. So we're gonna go up and over and connect about there somewhere. Or how is that a valid connection? And something like that isn't. There we go. So it does remove a little bit of zoning, but that works. Don't know if I'm entirely happy with it, but it works. All right, what I want to try and do, so we've got our cargo harbor there. We need to get power lines there. Can we get them underneath the bridge? Because that would actually be perfect. We can go under that way, but I want to go, I want to go through here. I don't like how it says it's green here because it's like, oh, I can do it, but then it doesn't work. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll just do this for now because... We'll replace it with, um, well, we'll remove them later when it's all industrial because then it will all be connected anyways. All right, that'll be fine for me. And then that's actually all conveniently already plumbed in. Perfect. So then this can actually all be industrial. <laughs> that's a nice little strip in there. So this will be beautiful industrial zone slash cargo harbor. How about that? Nice little zone right next to the city center as well. Not too big, not too small. I think I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this. This is kind of exactly what I was after. Uh, so let's go like that. Hawthorne District. Sure, why not? There you go, guys. So they can definitely enter and exit both ways, right? So they can exit there and they can enter back on there. And these guys can exit and enter there. So that's perfectly fine. They can go both directions. No issues at all. And that should hopefully keep the, the cargo traffic flowing directly through still. The same idea as before. Uh, but also allow us to have a small... Uh, industrial district and it seems to be working so far exactly how oh jeez some of these guys like look at them they swerve out into the other lane and go whoosh go back in let's see watch this guy jesus like that is dangerous that is gonna that is gonna topple over <laughs> look at them they're like going as fast as i possibly can uh, oh jeez the logs oh there we are out comes the truck. That one's okay. Didn't have anything. That's okay. Ooh, jeez. How can a tractor go that fast? I, I kind of wish they would tone down the leaning in this game because the cars lean way too far when they're going around corners. Uh, there's no one building here. But what we're going to do, why don't we try and go uh, industrial space planning. That uh, in doubles the amount of traffic it generates. So there'll be a load of traffic, but it, it also uh, doubles the amount of output. So they might be more inclined to start building here. Maybe. I don't know. Now, I'm hoping that this doesn't cause major backups. I mean, it's already seeming to do a little bit of backing up, but that's just because there's... I don't know. I just wish I would turn in faster. Like, it's, it's just a problem. I mean, the reason I back up is because I turn in so slowly. Why is nobody building there? It's really upsetting. Guys, that's really upsetting. Okay, there's a little bit of residential demand, so... We've still got this space. Uh, actually, how is the port going? Because we need to develop this at some point. Uh, that is 60% full. So it's, it's getting there. It's emptying slowly but surely. We also have a random park there. Um, yeah, it's emptying slowly but surely. So let's uh, redevelop the rest of this area. Uh, into there, 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 there. Just all of this pretty much is going to be residential. Straight through there. And then the main road will be the commercial. Even though there's not really much demand right now, but we'll fill it out. And what I'll do is also, I'll also check parks, because I haven't, I feel like I haven't placed parks in a while. Uh, let me grab small. So these guys are actually pretty fine. Uh, those guys, not too happy. Everyone else is pretty good, though. Um, except for Wine Glass Hills and Lafayette Oil Fields. Everyone else is pretty good. Uh, these guys could use one, I guess. Maybe if we put one around here somewhere. Let me put it there. That should be pretty good, because then we can just we can still have a road going next to it as well. That'll be fine. Uh, yeah, how about services? Uh, how are we going with those? Like, we could use... We could definitely use, like, another hospital or something out here, because we got... I mean, we've got some stuff down there, but... Uh, 
is that a, that's that is a hospital. I no, I think we'll be okay actually. What about death care? Crematorium availability. Yeah, we have loads of those. So that's not a worry. Fire department. Oh, yeah, no, we could use a fire department for sure. All right, I'll chuck one in on that main road there. So that should cover that entire area. Does it cover those guys? Yeah, a little bit. So that will make them a lot happier. Uh, our fire coverage is pretty damn good, except for this area and a little bit out over here. We can get a little firehouse. That should actually just cover most of this. Yeah, that covers most of that area there. Sort of down that area. And a little bit down there as well. Cool. Um, I might get a, a little... Well, we have a fire thing there, but I guess because this is... This is all actually connected to that road, so they can't actually get to it. Mm, I don't really want to give them their own one. We just put one there. Why do, uh, why do those guys have coverage? Oh, because they're connected to that road. So it's like... To get there, you have to go all the way around. But even still, like, that should be fine. We'll give it some time to update. Uh, yeah, no, that's good enough. What about police? I still need to work on building a city with 50% crime rate. I'll, I'll do that soon. Yeah, that's good enough. Crime rate 8%, that's good. Uh, people are building here, so that's a good sign. No traffic backing up yet, also a good sign. I, I think I'll give them a, a park of some descript. Let's give them like a little plaza or something. Uh, right there. Little plaza. I wish that didn't sort of not fit perfectly, but that's fine. Uh, actually, what we'll do, we'll go a little uh, low-density commercial there, so if someone can build a little shop there. How about that? <laughs> One dude. That can be the local the local shops. There you go. I don't think anyone is going to want to build, 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 build there. Words escape me. Good. No, Hawthorne District is good. Uh, and then this... How's this area going? I presume this has been building up. This is probably why our industrial demand sort of been moving a little bit slowly on the other places. Because they're actually all building into here. This is actually filling out very, very nicely as well. I, I actually really like the look of this one as well. I mean, this one's quite polluty, but I like the hills in it. It looks just nice. Nice little cascading hills. Uh, not many people using this though, by the looks of it. Now, are any, how many trucks are using this road even though they shouldn't be? Uh, no one at the moment. I think I may, I mean, I think we may get the odd truck or two that just disobeys the rules. Which is fair enough. Uh, you know, don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Cool. No, oh, that's good. And this area is built out. These guys have got low land value. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how that would be low land value. you got, like, pretty incredible views. Like, let's be honest. You go in your backyard. You can see all the way out over there. I mean, you can... You got to... Okay. Well, to be fair, you got you got an outlook over an industrial area and... Tons of sewage treatment, but still, it's pretty incredible view. You two go bye bye now. <laughs> you two go bye bye. A bit of traffic there. We don't we don't have traffic despawning on, do we? Yeah, we we have traffic despawn disabled, and that's actually all flowing quite well. So that's good. Did I? No, I didn't turn traffic lights back on that. Oh, I I, I didn't get rid of that either, because that was before. I reloaded the save, of course. I was like, we well, got rid of that, didn't we? Nope, obviously not. Um, it's all good. No, that's all good. These guys are no longer complaining about goods, except that guy's complaining about customers. These guys now have good. We've successfully solved the goods crisis of 2015. Well, no, I was going to say 2015. We've solved the goods crisis of 2065. That was the, the next Great Depression, by the way. In case you're wondering, that was... The Great Depression, the lack of goods. Everyone was on rations because there weren't enough goods. Uh, so we have a fair bit of industrial demand. So I'm hoping they, they fill out this area pretty quickly. Because, I mean, it looks like they are already, which is actually really, really good. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. And it just looks, it looks a little bit neater than just having a random spaghetti junction there. Having like a little industrial area there as well. Um, I really just want to destroy this area. It's just bad. I think it's just bad. It just needs to be redone and not be there. It needs to be, I think it needs to be put there, like down by the water. Because, I mean, oh jeez, look at this. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Wait, which way are they backing up? They're backing up going this way for some reason. That I'm not entirely sure why. Alrighty. So, oh, this is still connected? Or did I disconnect? No, it's still connected. So what I actually found out is if we jump into first person, 
Um, is that a... Let me change the speed modifier real quick. Uh, go faster modifier. Faster! And then we go... Speed modifier. There we go. Uh, if we follow the train line to the edge of the map, I think there's actually a train stuck. Yeah, see, look, they're all backing up. There's actually a train stuck at the end. Is that the end there? I guess so. It's really hard to see. Uh, so this... Well, that's the train station here, which is where passengers get on. And this is like It's actually just a train station is how this works. Uh, but there's a train stuck... A little further back, I think, somewhere. Is it this one? Or oh, the train stuck? It must be this one. This train is just stuck and it won't move. So what it does is just all the trains behind it just back up. So this, if you remember a few episodes ago, we had a giant backup out of the city. This this connection just doesn't work. So I don't know why that's still connected. I think I disconnected that in a, in a test. Um, whoops. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Can't escape out of it. Uh, yeah, so that just doesn't work. Um... Now, as for this, I mean, the root cause of it seems to be this intersection, uh, actually. So what's going on here. Uh, see, that train is too... Yeah, this this is too small. This, this interchange is the problem. Alright, so what we need to do... If we... I mean, they don't... We don't need all four directions of connection. To be fair, like this train line could just go, could only go that way, and that would be fine. And this one could only go this way, and it would be fine. Like they'd still work perfectly fine. Actually, that one might not. If wait, there, there should be another connection somewhere, right? To the outside world. If we follow this train line, I don't even know where does that go. No, that's just cargo lines there, isn't it? I think we. Yeah, it goes over that way. No, yeah, this is the outside connection here. No, that, that that connects outside of the map, I think. If we follow it all the way along, it connects over there. Then, yeah, it goes outside the map. Um, so, that's fine. So, yeah, if they're using this, this rail, they're actually just either leaving the city or going around. And they can get around this side by looping around anyway. So, that's actually all connected. That, that'll be fine. That should work fine. Uh, except for these guys. These guys can't really do what they want, but we could just do this. And that would allow them to go either way. This train line doesn't need to go either way. So that's not a problem. Uh, yeah, no, that was just, I think that was just a, that intersection was just too small and it was just backing up. How's our little, uh, little highway doing here? It's all good. I kind of want to flatten it out. Just have like valleys in between and all that. It'd be kind of cool. Just for a little fun project while we wait for stuff to happen. Uh, do I want to... How do I want to do this? I think I kind of... I want to try and do it. Let's see. Let's get rid of this entire road. And we'll create two little valleys that it's going to go through. So it's kind of... It's going to be like it's completely flat, but it's been like cut out either side to, to sort of sink into the ground. Give us something to do. Actually, I'm going to unpause. Because they can still they can still get around that way. They just have to go a little bit further. I'm going to unpause mainly because I want the game to keep simulating so we get more demand. Because we don't really have any demand at the moment. So there's not, not much to do other than cosmetic stuff. So that's what we're doing. Right. So we're going to... I guess we'll use this height as our basis. Uh, it's not going to be completely flat the entire way. It's going to be like... I think my idea here is... It'll be flat to a degree. Good enough. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. It goes straight through there. Train line goes across. It's in the forest. Fantastic. Right. Now that was a good that was a good waste of time. So now we've got a little bit of demand for industrial. Look at this area. It's absolutely beaming with activity. It's like a little beehive of activity. And it works actually really, really well. So I'm happy with that. Uh, now, as for where we should do another industrial area. So we've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And a big one there, which is good. I mean, I guess the guys at the back kind of need one. I mean, they have that, but that's oil. We could do one. I was thinking either around this side of the lake. Or even just the other side of the highway. Because this is kind of like a... Border, like this is, this is pretty much... This highway is pretty much going to be the border of our main... Uh, residential commercial section of the city. So I guess we can use this as industrial out here. That would be no problem. Uh, so we might do that. And we can easily add a train station as well because there's a line right there. So let's let's try that. Let's just go straight 
off of the highway here somewhere. What would we'll, we'll just use one of the roads actually. Um, I think we'll just coming straight off. Although, I mean, I, I guess ideally we'd probably just want this to bridge across, but I don't want to do that because that's going to be effort on my part. Uh, I guess I should do that. All right, let's get rid of this thing. Get oh damn, didn't mean to get rid of the highway, but oh well. Good. All right, so we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to bridge the road across, and then just do your pretty bog standard connection. That's going to go across. So this will continue over to the industrial area, which is going to be over here. Just goes down like that, and then I guess we'll actually just go straight along this way. It's not going to again. It's not going to be very big. I don't want it to be too big because. We, we found making things too big to be the problem. When you have... Oh, that's wrong. When you have the industrial area and it, it's too big, <laughs> there's your problem. That Immediately, that's your problem. Oh, I did it too big again. <laughs> I'm just trying to do three blocks. Is it so difficult? There you go. Three blocks that way. And maybe... Two that way. And that's pretty much going to be our industrial area. We will add a train station. Um... No, not that translation. This one. Cargo. About there. No, I don't want it on the main road. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to add it off the highway, I think. And then have a direct connection from the industrial area. Alright, so this is actually going to come off the highway here. And I'm going to go use a regular road so we can actually place it. Oops. I'll just bring it down that way. Hopefully we can fit one in. I'll go around there somewhere. Then obviously the we'll just do a little connection there so that other trains can bypass it, no problem. And then that will go back onto the highway. Easy does it. Okay, so that will be for those guys. And then people actually entering the highway, we need to also sort that out. Uh, they will come this way and hopefully we can just go I was hoping we can sneak in there somewhere ah well that's a problem can we sneak in like this we can it's a little bit yeah you know, it's a little bit dangerous in re in reality but this ain't reality so I don't give a toss uh, now this doesn't need to connect to the bridge actually so there's no point connecting up the, on top of the bridge so I should just go straight to there uh, and this can do the same thing from down the bottom but this can go this way. That's what I'm trying to do. Actually, is there any way we could do that instead? Have the exit come out on the ground first and then go up? Like if we go a little bit further back. Hang on, go away. Can we build it like this? As like close to the highway as I can. And then go up. Just because it'll look a little bit better. I think we'll just change the, the train station connection. Now this is going the wrong way. But that's okay. Now this will come out there. Maybe a little further back. So it actually fits. Follow it around a little bit. Nope, that curved too much. I just want a, you know, a nice connection, that's all. Whoops, that's not snapping. Yeah, that works. Alright, so that's fine. And then this will go up this way. Alright, then I wanted to get a direct connection from the industrial to the the train station as well. Uh, I think if we... Well, this is going to have more than one block. So if we go back this way. Let's go back. Oh, that's not right. Let's go one square further to there. Not going to connect to that. That will just be... So just be separate. Uh, then maybe we could have the connection go this way. So I'll go... I don't know if I want to go over or under. 
I kind of want. I feel like I want to go under it because it, it going under is all, it just feels more elegant than going over. You know, it always just feels like it's a little bit neater. A little bit of neater bong hit. <laughs> Good old Simpsons. Uh, no, let's ramp that because ramps again are a little bit more neater. Not gonna be much of a ramp, I guess, but. Oops, that's not right. Damn it. Hang on. No, you go back down. You stay up to there. Because I want the land there to be where it should be, and then the ramp should work. So from there, no, from there, no, from there to there. And that should hopefully work. Yeah, there you go. Up over like that. And then we just bring the land back up. Like nothing ever happened. There you go. Beautiful. Train line. Well, I mean, ideally train line, you want a bridge, but uh I don't know, bridge. But like it's not it's not low enough to, to make that a bridge. That's actually really annoying. I mean, it does that. <laughs> I don't know if that works, probably, but it's kind of glitchy. No, 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 I don't want to destroy that. Uh, I guess that needs to go a little bit lower. Oh, maybe because the land is technically not down there. Maybe that's why, actually. That's probably why. No, 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 okay, let's go spring the land. Because I, I raised it up, but, but that, that might be why. Maybe the game's thinking, oh, that's not actually a bridge. Because the land is not down there. Right, let's try that. That might have been why. And I hope it was. Ah, it was. Beautiful. Now, this will do the same thing. Make sure we give enough room for this to join on neatly. There we go. And there you go. Alrighty. So then they can get straight from the industrial area over to the uh, thingamabob. And they can also not get back. But, I mean, if they wanted to go back... And also, these guys, I guess, do need a way to turn around. Um, so if they want to go back, what we'll do is we'll go up there. And I keep I keep using the wrong tool for some reason. Go away. Can we go up here? I want to, like, just go out at the angle I need to go out at, you know? I don't want to curve in and then out. It always looks weird. Okay, let's go the other way. It's going to be easier. Really? I thought it was going to be easier. And over. And down. Okay. Alright, so then they can just go around and they can actually just go back up that way. That'll be fine. I think. Uh, <laughs> then this can go straight through, straight through there. All good. Also the train station. There you go. We will need power, so... Oh yeah, actually that reminds me, we need to go remove the power lines um, in the other place that we built. So then this can just go over here, and then we'll just start zoning this way. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, no, no, power lines over at this area, because we built them kind of weirdly underneath the bridge, which we won't need to do anymore, because it should all be connected up. Let's have a look at our power. So if we actually just connect it to there... That should be good. So what we'll do, there's, I guess there's no reason at going at that weird angle. Why don't we just build a new line? Like, it could, should just go straight to there, really. Like, that is kind of unnecessary. But then that, that's because we used to have a port there as well, so... It used to make sense. Doesn't anymore. And that'll come out to there, and that can go to there. Alright, that should uh, all still be fine. That's all working beautifully there. Let's go over to the new area. No one's building here. That's fair enough. Uh, what I will do is I'll make sure to remove... I didn't mean to do that. I meant to expand this one a little bit just to that bit. Uh, what I will do is I'll remove some traffic lights or change some lanes in some of this area in a minute. So this is actually just going to all be the industrial area. It's not going to be that big, but that's fine. So the traffic lights up there, there are, but I don't think we need them. At least not yet. All those. Not yet, anyway. All there, but we'll keep them. 
So does anyone want to build in Birch Square? It is prime real estate. Uh, let's go for industrial space planning. Give them a little bit of a, a bone. There's tons of demand. You'd think that's start building. They always take a little while to get building, which is interesting. Um, I'm not going to bother doing any commercial because we have a bunch of commercial over there if they wanted to go get something. Uh, I guess there's no public transport out here. Actually, what we should do, that's a good point, because I think we have a subway line just nearby. We do. So that should actually be fairly easy to modify that. Get a station up in here. So then what we'll do is... So that's a yellow line. We'll go back and modify that in a minute. It should be fairly easy. All we have to do is drag it to add a new station. So that'll be, that'll be good. Uh, we should really turn the yellow line into a better loop because it, it's at the moment it's a one way, and that's kind of dumb if you're because like if you wanted to go from that station to that one, you'd have to go around the entire loop, which doesn't make much sense. So I think I'll add one going the other way in a minute. I also realized that. Um, hang on, drag line to add stop. There you go. I also realized that, so let's go, some of my lines, because uh, because I have that public transport mod, some of my lines only have one vehicle on them, which is not ideal, so I need to go back around and fix that up. So I'll stop in there, and then this one loops around, back out to there. Cool. Alright, so we have one going each way. Now, that is only going to have one vehicle on it as well. Uh, is it 22? Yeah, see, like, these ones here. So what is Metro Line 20? Where is it? So this is actually the new line that runs all down there. All the way down there. It only has one vehicle. Alright, we need, we definitely need more than one vehicle on that. So let's see. Let's go... Uh, one, two, three... Four, five, six. Let's go seven, actually, because most of our other popular lines have about seven. Uh, and then I think 21 is actually just the one going the other way, isn't it? No, what is 21? Oh, is it the, the loop... Big suburban loop. No, but it should be green. Hang on, what? Wait, maybe I clicked on the wrong one. No, Metro Line 21. No, it, that it must be like over. Yeah, I think it's over here. I think the the stupid tag is wrong. Hang on, select none. 21. No, what is 21? Maybe it was over here. Oh, is it this? Oh, it's this one. Okay. So this currently goes down there, and this only has one vehicle. <laughs> Let's go add a bunch more. Three. What do we got? It went up to three. I clicked it a bunch of times. I just want to give it a second to to update. Maybe I only did three. Four. Five. Six. Let's go six on that one. Because it's just uh, back and forth. Uh, okay. And then 22. I, th I, I presume is the one I just made, right? Yeah, the one going the other way. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually going to be 8, because it already had 1. I don't know. 7. Never mind. Alright, we good? Alright, so they actually have all the vehicles. I don't think there's any others that only have 1. Because i, I got to remember that. Bus lines, all the new lines I make, only have 1 vehicle by default. Alright, anyways, that should make those guys pretty happy here. Um, yeah, there you go. they got a little subway line, all pretty happy. I'll give them a little park of some sort. Maybe a little a basketball court. Uh, they seem to like basketball courts. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Um... No, that's good. Uh, so we do have a train line there. Uh, we could we could add a passenger train station, but I don't think there's much point because we have the subway going there. I think we'll just... I don't even know what I'm going to do with that passenger train line. We might Because at the moment, it just goes there. Uh, I guess we'll have to add another train station out here somewhere, maybe. I think we'll actually bring it over here. And then... Because it actually just loops to there. So it's not it's not actually a very useful train line at the moment. I think I think actually I think what we need to do is bring the train line down this way because if it, if it came from the transport hub and went around and then over to here when we eventually build there that would make sense so maybe that's what we got to do uh, I'd sort of try and bring it over here somewhere which is going to be kind of hard there's not a lot of room but we'll figure something out a little bit further down the line but until then thank you for watching this part of City Skylines I will see you next time and have an awesome day